Hello everyone, we're back again. It appears we've had some technical problems. It means, unfortunately, that uh, all that we had done that day We'll try this again. Maybe try moving a little bit quicker through. The good news is we should have a pretty straightforward uh, idea of what it is we're trying to accomplish. So. It just always stinks when, uh, when something like that happens. It is no fun at all. So, we are waking up on the 27th of spring, Saturday. We have a... We're working on building the tree farm up. We are working on building wooden bridgehead, uh, a couple of things I want to keep going here, so we'll get that done, this, the bearing going, because we're going to need one more bearing, Watch that quick as we can, as soon as that's done we'll get eight more bronze pipes going, we're going to need some more uh, steel plates as well, those crafting, Oh, uh, sorry, we needed those bars first, so we're actually not going to craft those. Still need carbon steel bars. Now there's some more carbon steel bars. Head to storage and get out some more parts and a small in. Secondly, here, pump for our engine. Start strong. Bearing. Bearing head. Taken care of. So let's try this again. Head into town and do a mission. Have a quest here. We always watch the cutscenes because we'll often get photos at the end of them. Pinky. What is it? No. 
bucks. Let's head into town for our inspection. Be back. Finish out those, uh, there was wrong. That's a bump. We counted that as incorrect. Right. Anything else that isn't. Appear to be bent wrong. That was just a lucky, lucky glance that caught that. Back out. I will stop off and sell a few items on the way once again. to our workshop and see the state of minutes. Cars. Started on eight more bronze packets. Go on a bridge body. Go fast. Some bricks. A lot of progress today. Very short time. This is the difference between sort of like having a good plan for the day and not, you know, knowing what what we want to accomplish and and having an idea for it. We're able to get so much more done. And if we have to make those decisions, why? Smash you for uh. 
away for half a second and get the jump on you. That wasn't it. Let's head on out of here then. You have a fair bit of time. Down here. Again, power stones make excellent. I have any of them. Give uh, three reputation. That's two. anybody except Lee. Leave the cat also. Now the good news is, even though we had a little bit of a misstep the first time playing through today, we were faster enough on the second time, we should be able to finish off the tree farm. Fully. Like we, I think we got the second set of bronze pipes going that we can actually implement those today. I think we got those started by by around noon, done by about 8 p.m. So I don't know that it'll benefit us to do it today, but we should be able to get them in place. It. Just waiting for those to finish crafting. I guess we need to talk to Arlo for about Huss and Tuss backing us in the cave. Let's down and do that real quick. We can also pick up the quest to Django's sword. And I think we can turn in our commission to Antoine. from Hello. My practice sword is getting worn. I need you know what, since we actually have some time to burn, let's head back in. Uh, see some of the mission. Let's try the shoot balloons. Oh, we get 20 shots. Five twelve knights badges. In that time for three forty six, not bad. What do we do with slots? 50.
Cool. We didn't get in. See if we uh spam it with the header. Last time. All right. Well, that's not really helpful. Let's try darts. Darts. Now there's a game. In. Possibility of winning at slots is so lucrative. I'm to keep playing. Head back. Workshop. Ranger. Talk to Gail. Hey, a power stone. Try uh, rock, paper, scissors. So we got a little bit more relationship with him. Let's see. We've done enough for the city that hopefully far down on this. Oh, he actually seems to be. So, oh, there he is. Okay. Definitely likes power. Give you reached the point in the game where if we want to go any further into hazardous room, we really want to have as many advantages as we manage those hazardous, uh, those herbs do a uh, wonderful job keeping us alive. Having gathered many of them. Snake fruits give us a little bit of health back as well. Not very much. But if it doesn't cost us anything, then it doesn't hurt us either. It's pretty dark around here. Craft a wall. Street open. Let's do a wall. Let's see. That's just a
That's great. Class. We'll want to get some of them actually. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, and then we'll get our sprinklers done. Head up to the tree farm. Hopefully get that set up. So, we did four sprinklers. Actually want to head straight over to the... Those fireflies in there? Never noticed fireflies in this game, but they seem to have disappeared now. Still, oh, it's very cool. and the water store. Not be looting the chest of animal. Particularly once you've started farming a lot of enemies for their parts. Since, oh, suppose you have the iron sword and, and can kill llamas. You really get enough animal parts that you don't need to make a point of harvesting them, unless they're the specific one. So we did have to harvest, for example, in our last episode, a little bit of blue leather so we could craft the boombox. Set these sprinklers. This is ending up it's quite a late night a bit later than we anticipated at least the grass can't really do wasn't expecting to find anything but take the opportunities that are presented i don't think the trees here can be chopped they are strictly our property they pretty well that tree looked like That's nuts. I feel like they shouldn't let us do that. Or at least that there should be some penalty, you know? That scene? So they're going to start sending us wood every day. Cool thing. Now, that wood resource catalog expand what they send us so we can reinvest in that. Get larger shipments, okay. Anything we don't use, we can sell, of course. So we have the opportunity to really turn that into something that uh, will sort of make everything we want to do just kind of pay for itself naturally over time. The big, 
big, big boon for us, and the fact that we got it in the first stream, uh, first spring, is uh, pretty nuts. Let's go ahead and end this day, quick as we can, just so that we get this game saved. So we have a uh, other system crash because that's never any fun. Okay, here we go, Sunday. Track down Arlo today. We'll do another set of missions. Here we have our first first uh, set of resources. So you can see there, eight hardwood, a whole bunch of plant fiber, a whole bunch of wood, rubber fruit, all kinds of stuff. Our stones temper brush. Got our industrial furnace, so we can start crafting that. Mission sewage plant. Right, we don't have room in our inventory for everything after all of that. That's fine. So let's go ahead and sort out what we can here. I'd love to uh, so one of the things we can also do here, now that we have so much extra, we can take, for example, some of that uh, stone we've done. We can actually turn that into grinding stones. We had over a thousand stone that we really don't need. We can turn that into grinding stones for sales. Go ahead and craft 200 grinding stones. It'll give us a ton of experience. Nice little chunk there. Some more charcoal though. Set up. Let's see what. But we want to see how much a industrial furnace is. Let's see. There we go. Five marble planks, five steel plates. Steel plates will start on start on industrial cores made stable from bloodstone, stone. Have. So steel plate, marble plank. You know, so industrial cores we can just rip up. It would be very easy. Wanna farm out some more bloodstone by mining large rocks. Get some marble plates going. Steel steel plates as well. So let's go mine out a little bit more marble, a little bit more bloodstone. See if we can't get this industrial furnace built. That will let us get last thing. So there is a set number of days in the month. There's 28, so four weeks total. Today is the last day of the first spring. Summer. Let's stones out of there. I did want to stop by the tree farm and see if we can expand their, uh, their daily contribute. Right, the, so each month is a season, and there are four of them in a year. Uh, all right, so we can adjust the type of these things, and what we can do is we have uh, the, the sort of the cost what we can do is we can, for example, reduce the amount of wild cocoons we get. That... Okay. 
Okay, so they've changed a little bit, but that's alright. Upgrade this, that's 10,000 gold. That's the type. We want wood. We want wood. Eventually, the wood will increase in unit price, I believe. Yeah, there we go. We want wood until it... Or as long as it's cheap. About 200. Enough. Hardwood. Anything so all right. Fifty five days of del delivery cost at five hundred and sixty. So for <laughs> the next fifty five days we'll be eating a hundred wood a day, twenty five hardwood, six Yeah, we'll be eating all of this every day. For 55 days, it costs us 500. Absolutely nothing compared to what we'll be getting for. Okay, so maybe rather than fireflies, there are butterflies. Marlow may be in lines here. Let's stop it. Oh. Actually, that'll cost us quite a bit, so we're not... Yep. Head on down to the... for inspection. Maybe we'll get lucky and, and Arlo will wander out while we're in there. what the first one there was, but that's all right. Now things are tough. I think that fourth leg is long. back and see need to get started on this plank steel plates are coming about four hours before we can get our industrial furnace set up and start making the welding rod repair pipe skill points. We've gotten a couple more skill points. Um, so one of the things that we might want to do is still invest in some combat, just get a little bit tougher there. We could also invest in social if we're trying to expand our relationship ability. So we'll go ahead and one more point in our workshop commission. And Smooth talk. 
chatting with villagers has the potential to give you a ton of reputation if you do it with every villager each day. By investing points into smooth talk, you will occasionally gain extra, and if you put five points, you'll always gain extra. You'll be earning double reputation there. Which, uh, nice little find. I believe the research center is closed on Sunday, but we'll stop in just in case, see if we can't get some more research going. Our industrial furnace came back. So it's not so much that it's closed, it's the Petra. Hello. It's here today. Hi. Did you discover something new? That should be enough data disks. Still, if you want them, the data corruption on these disks are minimal. Which data disks for some pins, silicon chipsets, condensed power stones. Right. So, as far as important relationships, um, the ones that I would personally recommend would be uh, it's awesome. for the fish. So the ones that I would personally recommend are uh, there, and what you can actually do is you can go into social and see. So Presley, for example, will give us extra rep uh, whenever we uh, complete a commission. If we're friends with Presley, we'll gain additional reputation as commissions. Uh, and each person has different perks. So Gale is another one that I recommend. That's that you receive large discounts purchasing land. Uh, now, purchasing land isn't something you do very often, but uh, it ends up costing just a huge amount for time. So I think the final land purchase is 150,000 gold, for example. So I gave a quarter off that by having invested in that. It's helpful. Like our trying to get them. the mayor should have prioritized life is time, so enjoy your time. In we were able to get Shame that Cross Five doesn't award super. Easy. Oh, there you are. Sorry. It's fine. I found out it was abandoned from before. You should probably leave beating criminals to us. That could have been dangerous. But uh, I guess we owe Higgins. Thanks for the update, though. The people in town are feeling great about the streetlights. Helps us. Everybody likes the streetlight. Alright, turn up the restaurant, sell fish. We're getting back into a stretch of good market. 